Driving with one hand on these curvy roads. Man, there's a lot of traffic out. It's a freaking Wednesday, man. Jeeps. Have the Jeep. So gorgeous. So freaking gorgeous here. Bob, this turkey. Me and this turkey are hanging out here. That's what's right. There was a bear over there when I was hanging. It's my birthday. So tomorrow I'm going to start out early so I can get on the Newfound Gap Road, take you clear across the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, show you some great views, and get to my uh, uh, get to my trailhead destination because I'm going to go hard uh, about seven miles in this terrain, which is no joke for your boy here. I'm going to work my way back in over the next couple of days. Anyway, see you tomorrow. first got on these roads, man, I was like white knuckling it the whole way. Uh, you know, after you do it for a day or so, man, it's kind of fun. I think the year was about 1976 when I was here. I was uh, 14, maybe 14 years old. When I first became aware of the Appalachian Trail. And uh, this was, and the whole thing just grabbed my imagination. The idea of walking along the trail, carrying everything you need with you for months on end, uh, just really appealed to me. That, it's really good to be here again. Uh, I'm at the uh, Cumberland Gap overlook and uh, at one of the uh, many Appalachian trailheads. Yeah, I can see uh, I can see where it uh, comes in across the uh, across across the road here. Ooh, camel toe. That was nice. limited view of Cherokee, North Carolina. Again, it's been about 14 years since I was here before. I'll recognize the darn thing. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it's happening, I guess. It's like it is. I mean, it's no Gatlinburg, but... Okay, so took me up into the mountains again and uh, probably the last mile here is all, all just gravel road. This is good, I'm getting, gonna scope the area out to check it out, but I gotta go back into a town because uh, I don't have any breakfast for the next next few days. Uh, I forgot to enter that into my, uh, into my route. But, uh... Okay, so after much driving, Telling about and logistics nonsense and uh, stops, map checks, stuff like that. I am finally on site. We're gonna go toward the falls, uh, following the, the horse trail, and uh, then pick up Deep Creek Trail from there. I think that my first campsite um, is on it's on that horse trail. It's not some getting started so late in the day. I just figured I'd hit that first, you know. 
So here we go. Well, starting me off with a pretty good climb here. Why not? Uh, I think most of this is downhill heading out. I think it's a, it's a slight, uh, it's a slight incline, you know, coming in. Hey, how you doing? This is mostly known as a day hike area. Oh, son of a bitch. So, the journey continues past the falls. I got a fork. mile near all Elk Hill except for that uh, one flat spot. Uh, I am on track according to the all trails. Interesting thing, uh, the rangers down at the uh, backcountry office uh, didn't seem to have much of an opinion of all trails. Meaning that uh, it wasn't a good opinion. <laughs> they want to be consulted, they know what's at. What's going on? I'm running out of battery. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, let's go backpacking in Smoky Mountains, Nate. Guess this is what I signed up for. I just didn't realize this particular trail went so far up in the beginning. Boy, I wish I could have shown you that. My, uh, this camera battery ran out, right? And I was on an easy way, um, Thought I'd take a rest, start to feel hungry, a little peak, feeling a little peaked. Anyway, I was getting into my ma bag to get the battery and the, something to snack on out, and uh, started to rain. So I threw my pack cover on. My pack's got an integral uh, rain fly, uh, rain cover. Yeah, I threw that on there. Dug my poncho out, threw it out on there. Got, got my breath, and I started walking. And uh, I'm running pretty good there for a while. I got off trail, it was ridiculous for a minute, then I finally got my bearings and I got back on and then it stopped raining and the sun was out for a few minutes and it was so, so beautiful. I, I think I'm about a mile from camp and uh, I'm gonna finish my stack and get on going here. Got this beautiful little river here. A few minutes ago you can see like a wave, a haze of fog coming down the surface of the, of the river. It's pretty cool. Anyway, finally a sign that makes sense. If we're going that way. Ah. It is true. It is true, guys. Moderately rated trail is hard enough for your boy Nate. 
even though I made it worse for myself early on. Early on in the hike, I'll tell you about it. Okay. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be long now. I made it. I fucking made it, man. Ah. Gorgeous. Oh, I sat down this pack. Find a nicely spaced set of trees, close to some water. And now I'm gonna make myself at home. All right. I got some shelter right in the nick of time, man. That, my friends, is luck. So I threw up, threw up the fly first here. So I can rest up and get my breath, look around, have a drink of water, and uh, gradually get to tend to the rest of my stuff here. Woo, what a day. What a day, kids. Well, this looks like this uh, could probably be me the rest of the night. Um, ste rain is steady. It's not getting worse or less, but uh, doing everything I can underneath the tarp here uh, to get everything situated. Uh, I need to get some water. Uh, I don't want to get any more wet than I am. I am certainly wet. Just from sweat, a little bit of rainwater. Um, don't really want to get in a hammock like that either. <laughs> Let's go get some water. Maybe have some dinner. Got about an hour and a half of light left. Uh, this should be alright. Yep. Oh, maybe there's a different way. Uh, got got bear hang rigs. Yeah, it's really kind of sprinkling. There's a lot coming off the trees. Got to be some decent water access around here somewhere. There we go. There we go. Score. About as good as it gets. Got a little piece of debris in there, but hey, that's some good water. I could probably drink it right out of that river, but you know, safety and stuff. Be careful, she says. I gotta get my pack off the ground here in case things really start coming down and I end up getting a river underneath my hammock here. I'll worry about that in a minute. Don't tilt this water. Right there. Oh. Does this make you want to pee? Well, thank you for asking. Tonight, the chef is serving Peak Refuel. Backcountry Bison Bowl. Chad Mendez. Special edition. I don't know who Chad Renders is. I bet this is good. Yeah, and I know someone out there is going to try to take away uh, my bushcraft card, my bushcraft points. I don't care. I'll tell you, I don't, I don't care. You know, bushcraft, it's fun. It's also a fashion. And if I don't fit, then. Yeah. Heck, the only reason I got this is because I, uh, Bought so much fuel alcohol at home. I don't want to buy more when I, I didn't want to buy more when I got here. So doing this. One of the things that I like about Peak Meals is that they don't require a whole lot of water uh, to rehydrate, and uh, it you know tip, they typically come in two serving packs. And you know I 
not used to eating like normal people like normal americans so i only need one serving and uh, so i'll eat a half a pack and you know i'll have an encore version tomorrow and so uh, for this particular recipe for making a half a pack of uh the uh backcountry bison bowl i only need uh like seven ounces of, uh, of water so here we go seven ounces of water on the boil and okay we have a boil and uh yes i had a film light yeah i told the film crew to uh uh, I need a film light for, you know, these dumb light situations, you know, and get me the, the type that flickers, you know, when I take video of it. Anyhow, let's go for a half a package of this bad boy. Man, let's make sure you stir these things up. Okay, I like a little more than half. Okay. And, uh, these meals feature a biscuit. I'm suspect, but hey. It's peak. I trust them. All right. Let's give this a minute. A fuzzy antlered deer came out from the river. Paused to look at me. I got the camera on just in time to. Uh, see him take off just we got a glimpse of him but then just a second ago he pulls up he comes back out of the bush and looks over at me again <laughs> hilarious uh, i keep the camera ready he knows something's over here the thing is he don't see very well but they hear really well Was that cool? He hung out for a good ten minutes over here. I think he's uh he's eating mushrooms. There's a, a few species of mushrooms I'm seeing come up uh, around here. Um, in the morning, I think I'll look around and see if I can uh, identify some cool mushrooms. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool encounter. He knew something was up. Every time my chair would squeak, he would uh, lift his head. Hmm? Love it. All I gotta do is be quiet, man. Be quiet, lay low. And we'll come out. Let's see what else comes out. It's about 10.30. I've been up since 7. Took me that long to uh, have a snack and break down, uh, break down backwards, tarp last, and then finally have breakfast and pack up the rest of it and go. Okay, well, today I'll be needing to go up to campsite 58. That's my goal. I know I have a lot of uphill. And uh, this is going to kick my ass. But hopefully I'll get there at a decent time. I'll be able to dry some of my crap out. So here we go. I should have done some stretches before I left camp. Still going uphill. 
Uh, lots of uh, short breaks, going slow. Uh, short steps, that's as often as I need to. Just catch my breath, keep going. It is a freaking beautiful, beautiful day. A little hazy up there. But yeah, it's looking good. I know I look like a dawdling old man up here. I guess, in a sense, I am. I want to see uh, what some of those people look like when they're 59 years old. What they're getting out and doing. I might be getting a. Might actually be getting a view in a minute here. Yeah, kinda. A mighty tall peak right there. That's where I just came from. So I dropped pack on this ridge. Uh, came uh, through with the really high stuff, it looks like, for the <clears throat> first part of this morning. So I'm on top of this ridge, and I can hear the water down below here. It's kind of a bald, flat spot. Dropped my pack, leaned against this tree for a minute. You hear the river down in the valley there, and uh, there's a steady breeze coming out of my back. It is so heavenly. So, looks like I'm gonna, trail continues down this way. We had a, kind of a long, long drop, and then I'm uh, gonna be, uh, looks like I'm gonna be uh, next to the, uh, the creek for the rest of the day uh, although it looks pretty easy although it is uh, all uphill because I am going against the flow of the creek so it's all uphill but nothing like that oh man what a few heavens a few heavens in zone 8 there's places like this it's came up on Campsite 59, this is kind of odd. Uh, it's not a big open area like I've seen other places, but I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna be staying here tomorrow. Uh, but I'm gonna drop pack, check this out. Some bitch. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick knee here and uh, probably grab a lunch. My, uh, my stop for the night is another half a mile up the trail, which is gonna be great. I'll have plenty of time to get things to dry, and if not, I'll amble on back down here, find out one of these spots, find one of these spots and make it mine. Anyway, let's catch my breath and put something in my belly. Shit, you not. I sat down. Turned off the camera, turned off, took off my hat, and about 15 feet away, a doe and a fawn walk right by me on the trail and they look at me. Is something there? Something there? Okay, when I go exploring, I'm taking you with me because uh, we might catch us some wildlife here. <laughs> What was cool about last what was cool about last night that one he stuck around long after I thought he was gone came up came up from the creek right by me and I thought he went away and then uh went up to hang out my food bag and I saw him take on up take off up the hill 
Anyway, I'm not going to worry about deer filming right now. I just want to find out where the water access is around here, just for my own knowledge. Here she is. Yeah, they want to stay around. That's cool. I'll let them stay around. I ain't want to bother nobody. It's a nice spot. Ah, water's a little tricky to get to. Yeah. No, no, it's all doable. All right, let's get back to where my sit spot is and let me something to eat. So I've beaten a hasty exit. Uh, I was eating lunch there, sorry. Here in, uh, here in Thunder, hearing it more and more. It's starting to get a little dark over this mountain. And I only got about half a mile to go before my next campsite. And if I'm really lucky, I'm only setting up in the rain. If I'm really lucky, I'm sitting up totally soaked in the rain. Okay. Let's do the best, yo. So, I busted my ass to get here. It's only about a half mile. It's probably about the fastest half mile I've done since I've been here. Uh, largely thanks to the terrain. The terrain eased up quite a bit. And uh, anyway, before I knew it, I got to Site 58. You know, they told me I would love it. They told me I would, I would love this site. Said the water access is really cool. It's okay. Um, but it's just like one big area, a couple spots off. I originally set over in this dark area, it's thundering loud. I swore it was gonna come down. I'm setting up, and and uh, then I realized that uh, it passed, and uh, so I switched over here, just outside the big area, and I have a bunch of crap out there drying. Anyway, um, tomorrow's gonna be different. Uh, I'll get to hanging out here, uh, take some rest a little bit more. Uh, I've been kicking my butt, kicking my own butt pretty hard, you know, doing this stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't do this every day, and, and I don't do it for physical fitness. I do it, in fact, I do it quite infrequently, and I do it just enough to screw me up somehow uh, every time. <laughs> but, uh, and, you know, since I, since I failed the Sipsy, I, I was a little nervous going into this alone. Uh, but here I am, you know, uh, tomorrow's day three, I'm out on the next day, um, hopefully I have enough supplies so they can, they can do them well. Anyway, I'm not going to bother with fires, uh, it's just, every, every place is picked clean, there's really no reason to, uh, again, I'm coming up on a night where I'm really, really tired and I can use to sleep, so anyway, uh, let's we'll see what we get into tomorrow, right? Peace, good night. I know you can't see much, but uh, it's actually quite quite a bit brighter than uh, it looks here. But uh been hearing thunder again. I've got uh, air on the side of caution. Threw everything up underneath the rain fly, and uh, I'm calling the night, y'all. Man, let's see what happens. The sky's looking all cloudy and overclass and yellow-like. I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. Good night. Okay, so it's been... Uh been raining like this for a good 12 hours um, yeah I've uh, forcing me to make some decisions as to what to do uh, from my experience and what I know of weather patterns in the area they tend to persist meaning like they, they're going to be several day events and I, I know there's a uh, low pressure coming in from the from the Gulf and uh, probably you know high pressure just pushing in right now here's where they meet so I'm expecting that uh, no matter what I do, I'm going to come out here sore and wet. Come out of here sore and wet. It's just a matter of whether I do that tomorrow or I do that today. If I do that today, it just means a longer hike, uh, but it also means uh, and it's going to be excruciating and miserable <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I get back to where I'm parked. Uh, at least I'll have a full day to... Uh, um, Take care of stuff that I need to before I fly out. Anyhow, I'm thinking about uh, my next move. They all involve grabbing this uh, this poncho in my food bag up there in the hang. 
That was a kind of a bad call to leave that poncho out there. My attempts to uh, retrieve it, I tried to put it on, but it was uh, it was it was totally wetted through, and uh, now I'm naked and filthy. Okay, I'm gonna eat something and uh, get cracking on with uh, getting the hell out of here. Sucks to cut this short, but I guess that's what I got to do. Okay, that took me a huge amount of time to uh, to break down. It's about 10 o'clock. And I'm saying goodbye to campsite 58. Uh, just for your own knowledge, I think about a mile that way is the beginning of uh, the Mountains of Sea Trail down there. But I'm going this way. The things are going to be different because it's going to be wetter, it's going to be slipperier. It's pretty safe to say I am embarking on. Uh, one of the most arduous hikes I've ever taken in my life. All right, here we go. Yeah, there's a whole lot more water there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see a lot of that. Walking back to uh, campsite 59. Man, I wish the weather would have been better. I would have liked to have stayed here. All the campsites have been different. This one had a kind of a enchanted woodland sort of vibe to it. So a few flat spots. I'm going to see you today. Well, at least the first part of today. Oh, plenty of flat spots coming out. There's going to be times when I have to remind myself that uh, this is uh, mostly downhill since I'm going downstream with the creek right now. When you're on an easy part of the trail, you're not struggling with it. You get to notice how beautiful everything is. Just walking next to a big rushing creek. Just gorgeous. With all the pain. In adverse conditions sometimes. I've never seen to not be able to stop and appreciate where I am. I mentioned before that I don't do this for uh, physical fitness. I do this for adventure because I love nature. And especially Fish the Appalachian Mountains. It's my happy place. It's mostly downhill. downhill. Small step. Go slow. So some people take inner tubes down these rapids. Maybe I'm some people.
you enjoyed this video, my Smoky Mountains, uh, Free Smoky Mountains videos at all, I really appreciate you watching all the way through if you did. And uh, if you did, I appreciate it. Get the, tell me how much you like it. Give me a thumbs up, uh, comment or something, subscribe. Uh, go check out some of the other stuff I've done. And most of all, if I don't have anything else going on this video, get out and do something. Made out. Thanks for watching this far into the video. And for that, I really just want to send you this reflective Zonate YouTube sticker while supplies last. You won't be added to any email list or anything like that, but email me on the link below and I will send this out to you.